Good morning, Kelly Williams, and welcome to day 20 of the Command 66 Day Challenge. Marty Miller on an overcast day coming from Houston, Texas. Today's challenge talking to you about opportunities a little bit further. So opportunities slash the sales pipeline. I wanted to show you how to actually tie your opportunity to a live listing. So when we get into opportunities, we're going to go ahead and create a new opportunity. And let's say you actually have a listing right now that you want to create an opportunity for that's already live. So um, contact, you would choose the contact name. So we've been using Mr. Seller or Mrs. Seller, so a seller. Um, opportunity name, one of my hobbies is to kind of look at listings in our market that have wine rooms. I'm a big wine guy. Um, and Miss Cindy Bluestein has an amazing listing out of our memorial office here in Houston. So we're going to utilize that. Cindy, hope you don't mind. Hopefully it gets a little more traffic over to you. So it's at 11210 Spoke Hollow Lane in Cyprus. That's in Town Lake. Um, so let's just say that we had that listing. I would love to have that listing. And yet Cindy's doing an excellent job in marketing it. So if we had that listing, we would put in the opportunity name. We don't have an expected close date yet. Because we're going to tie the actual listing to... Um, to this opportunity, we don't actually have to put in the estimated list price. It's going to pull it in for us, and you'll see that in just a second. Um, let's just put opportunity phase. Let's say it was active and we were actually showing it. Um, I hope to be able to show that listing for Cindy soon and bring her a buyer. So here's the opportunity to create this opportunity as if it were our listing, and this is what Cindy might do because it's her listing. I could go in and select from KWLS. There's been a little bit of um, confusion around this. So the KWLS is right now being fed by, well, at least this button for this purposes um, per labs is being fed by WolfNet, which is the IDX, meaning that it is pulling the information from all of the local MLSs. So you can see a lease listing here pulled from HAR, which is Houston Association of Realtors. That's our MLS here in Houston. If I do all listings, then it'll basically pull up all of the listings available and I can search for that address and pull in the listing. So here is the active listing. It's being listed by Cindy, like I said, from the Texas MLS and I can select that. You're going to see here at the top, it's going to tie this opportunity now to this actual listing in the MLS. So if I come down and click on, um, whoops, I need to update one more thing. So Let's just put the location was Cypress, Texas. All right, so now I can come down. For some reason, even though I tied that listing, I do still have to update some piece of information in order to save it. If you move out after tying it without saving it, it won't keep. So one small little bug, but we'll get that fixed soon, I'm sure. Um, and yet just make sure that you update one piece of information. It will then remain tied. And now if I go into my sales pipeline, and I look at live listings, it shows the commission for this listing is 12600 based upon the list price of the listing. I didn't even have to put anything in. It pulled that list price. In addition, if I go into documents, it's still tied in here. If I start pulling up offers, it'll still be tied to this listing. If I'm putting in notes, etc. And then, of course, as we move towards green sheets um, being eliminated through the commissions aspect of command, um, it'll all tie to this listing. So bottom line is if you have some active listings that you want to start putting into command, you can do that by creating opportunities, tie that opportunity to one of your existing contacts, one of your sellers, and then go in and actually tie it to the listing associated with the KWLS or WolfNet, WolfNet IDX system. If for any reason you don't find your listing, um, it's not because it's not in KWLS. It's just that the MLS that you are tied to is for some reason having an error pushing that through WolfNet. Now know that we did buy Smarter Agent and we know that Smarter Agent is um, going to be even more effective with regards to those results. So if for any reason your listing is not showing up, I would just send an email to support um, and let them work on figuring out why it's not showing up. But it is not because it is not in KWLS, it is more just because WolfNet is not pulling it from uh, through the IDX through your MLS system. So hopefully that makes sense. That's today's challenge, day number 20. Get in, play with a live listing that you may have. If you don't have a live listing, you could do what I did and basically borrow someone's. Uh, just make sure at the end that you always come down to the three little dots and we're gonna archive that because that is not really my listing. Cindy, great job on marketing that property. I can't wait to see you get it sold. And I uh, hope you guys all have a fantastic rest of your Monday. And as always, I look forward to speaking with you in the morning.